And we're live, okay, and we're live. Hello there, and welcome to the next episode of the No Lift Powerlifting Podcast. I am your main host, Arthur Lynch. <coughs> With me, as always, is Mr. Adam Keane. Hi. And today is a very momentous episode for us. Yes. For two reasons. Uh, this marks episode 20 of the No Lift Powerlifting Podcast, and uh, I'm fairly sure a lot of people, including myself, didn't think we'd make it this far. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, we are joined today by none other than World's Strongest Man competitor, Vitas Lalas. Vitas, how are you doing today? Oh, great. <laughs> Happy to be here in my own gym. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So we're in um, Vitas' gym in Kilkenny, Ireland, uh, Top Performance Fitness. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, get straight into it. Um, so we're not going to bother with a new segment this time because. YouTube video. Yeah, I'm fairly so, sure the news we have doesn't impress you anyway. So. Yes, that's true. What's the we news? normally will have a news segment where we talk about like lifts during the week that we saw from US lifters or Irish lifters. Oh, okay. But we're not. We're going to skip past that now yeah. and just get straight into that. Let's talk about strongman. Let's talk about strongman. Let's talk about strongman. So, uh, first of all, um, do you really mind just telling us about where you're from and how you kind of got into strongman in the first place? So, I'm from Lithuania. Uh, I live in Ireland since 2005. 2005. Started strongman actually late yeah. compared to the guys now. Started only 23. 23. Yeah, very late. Uh, before I was doing Amazon. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I was a world champion in Lithuania when I was 23, and I was a junior strongman champion the same year. Right. And I won all of them, both of them, and I came to then I was doing arm wrestling for a year, I went to Manchester to arm wars. I won a tournament there and then I was like, yeah, I just I wanna do strongman more than arm wrestling, you know? Yeah. It's a lot hard. Yeah. yeah, so I prefer that sort of sports, you know. Right, okay. And arm wrestling, was your training just strictly kind of bodybuilding before that? Or yeah, pretty much you, bodybuilding. Yeah. And then when you turned twenty three you got into the strongman sort of stuff? Um no, I started <sighs> I started to look at strongman sort of more serious when I was twenty six. Okay. Yeah. You know, but before that, I was sort of squatting a lot, deadlifting a little bit, you know, something yeah. like that. But mainly it was arms. Yeah, okay. And then eventually moved over to uh, strongman. And then you moved to Ireland. What year? Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Yeah. And you trained. You lived in Dublin for what? I lived in Dublin for ten years. Ten years. Ten years yeah. And then you moved to the sunny southeast. Yeah. Open the gym. Can, can, can I just ask, what, why in God's name did you move to Ireland? You should ask that question every foreigner that comes to Ireland. <laughs> and there was a different answers every time. Yeah. Why? It's a good question. Uh, do you really want me to go into the long story of Lithuania, politics and all that stuff? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't sure. <laughs> It's a long story. It was just, yeah. the, the reason I ask is, I just don't see... Um, so okay, the question, question for you, strong. why all the Irish people went to America? Just for work, for work, yeah. Is it good. possible that all the Eastern Europeans came here for England, sure. Ireland, mm -hmm. Celtic Tiger, huge money, yeah. you're yeah. making thousand euros a week. It's not bad, isn't it? No, no. So and if you're making in Lithuania, let's say 200 a month, yeah, you're doing good. And you're making thousand over here a week. Makes more sense. Can you come? Yes. Yes, you would. Okay, well, that's not the reason. Loads and loads of uh, Eastern Europeans, uh, Polish, Latin, Latvians, all of them. There's loads of them in England, yeah. and there will be more now, I think, in Ireland because of the Brexit. Yes. Mm -hmm. There will be a lot more who come here, and they, they already have an issues with the, actually. They have criminal record, and they did something in England. You fly home to Lithuania and you try to go back into the UK. They're not allowed. Really? Yeah, there's issues now. Big problems. So, so they might all of them will come here, from Ireland. which is good for Ireland. It is, yeah. More people, build the economy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More homes. More people willing to work. Yeah, uh, that's what. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so then, just going into the sorry. Well, one thing I'm really keen on this. Why, why you come to Ireland? Okay, that's mm -hmm. a strong one. Yeah. Um, uh, I became a professional song in Ireland. Yeah. So I didn't came as a strongman to Ireland. So actually, thanks to Ireland, in a way. Right. Okay. I'm as like, successful as I am now. Hmm. And you don't think... Like, let's say in a thing, you have a, a, a job, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't pay you well. 
And you know, I don't know how power is, but strongman sport is not cheap. No. Food, you eat six, seven times a day. Yeah. Uh, sleep, uh, working hours, yeah. you name it. All of it comes into play, stress levels, yeah. uh, training, you, you name it. So it's a little bit over here easier, and plus with the weather, yeah. because it's not very good weather over here, so all you do at home, you sleep and nap, <laughs> just take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I guess> so. <laughs> Don't go out yeah. outside, you know? Yeah. That's it. Oh, it's very good. Yeah. And um, just want to kind of dive into more of your training regimen. So yeah. That's something people will kind of want to know. So uh, that changes every year. Every year. So yeah. At the moment, what does it kind of look like? So at the moment, I'm getting ready for Europe Strongest Man, which will be in five weeks, six weeks. Something like that. Yeah. 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 And uh, then two weeks after, Wall Strongest Man. Right. So now I'm sort of trying to peak for the Europe's, or even like rather. Try to peak probably for the world's strongest man more than that, right? Because the, the, the world's strongest man is more mm -hmm. prestigious yeah. competition, and it's 10 day competition it's in the Philippines, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty hard competition. Yeah. So, now what we do is like last year, we made a couple of major mistakes. My brother was getting ready for the Arnold Amateurs, I was getting for the Arnold Pros strongman, and we overtrained, we trained like four hours every day. We did lots of mobility, stretching, and we weren't eating, we weren't drinking enough water and stuff like that. Came competition oh. day, I was done, my brother told his opinion standard, yeah. so on and so forth. So at the moment what we do is, we two days in uh, strongman training, yeah. in the yard, okay. and then two days in the gym. And what we do is, we split our body sort of in half, sideways. So first day we would train, like we did today, uh, deadlifts, back, Glutes, hams, and calves. Okay. And the next day, let's say chest, uh, shoulders, biceps, core, quads. Right. And that's that's our gym is. Two days. That's it. Okay. And you so you don't you don't have a dedicated day for biceps. No, unfortunately, no. When I was young, I had. <laughs> that was every day. <laughs> that was the dedication day every day. <laughs> that's it. Actually, I don't train biceps. No. No. Now I started a little bit just to stimulate the muscle. Yeah. Because that's. What I remember when I joined here first, and uh, I kind of, I, I don't think it was you who told me, but I think it was one of the members here, and uh, about your biceps, and one of the members said, yeah, he doesn't train them because otherwise they'll get too big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. actually that's the problem. And in the strong, I already tore this one. Yeah. This one is tore. So I did that in 2007? Yeah. Eight, 2008, uh, in Ukraine, team competition. We won that uh, competition, we became the world's strongest nation. But on the last event, it was 200 kilo stone. Yeah. First lift pump, pop, pop. See you later. Yeah, that's, uh, the stone seems to be one that's particularly hard on the bicep. Tire flip and stones. Yeah. That's why I hate them more. Well, I don't mind stones as such, but I don't like tire flip because so many guys torn their biceps. And if it's raining, like uh, even last year, there was a team competition. Me and Big Z were in the team. Yeah. And the second event, I think it was tire flip, it was a little bit rainy. Yeah. And Benny Magnussen. That's right. Bam. Bicep gone. Gone. And he was mad. Yeah. He was actually pissed off as hell, you know. So they cancelled that event and they put the log inside. Right. So would that be normal for them to cancel it if it's raining? Or? No, it depends on the promoters, it depends on the sponsorship. So every event is sponsored by someone. Right. Yeah. So let's say, um, Let's say you have a, you hold in a, a competition, mm -hmm. so there's a truck, mm -hmm. so you can approach a truck a company, mm -hmm. and then they'll have their own banner, and so you can See. do truck pulling. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So uh, probably with tire, there was some sponsors who, who prefer to have tire yeah. in that competition, but uh, the organizer of the competition, Glenn Ross, yeah. he straight away stopped it and said, "Right, we are taking that out." You know, which which was. The right decision, and I don't see that happen very often. Yeah, you know, usually it's the good thing about Glenn Ross is as well he was a competitor himself. Yeah, so he knows, you know, how it feels for strongman when it's raining and you have to do certain things yeah. that really you don't want to. Yeah, you know, so he's like, say, we stop. So that's it. You know, which is okay, good. Um, so that's good. And one of my uh, kind of stick out moments that I've seen you is the truck pull. Yeah. Uh, I think it was in 2012. Mm -hmm. I think the foot just went to my mind <laughs> yeah. where you were a lot lighter than 
you know, say Terry Hollands and Bobby yeah. Shaw, like, yeah. you know, about 50, 40, 50 kilos lighter than Yeah, I'm oh, still out. Yeah. <laughs> and you still managed to put down one of the best times. Um, and is that just down to you practicing and having better technique or? That know? year, specifically that year, I had probably, coming up to the World Service Man, I had 12 competitions yeah. done already. Right, okay. So, I mean, I, I took second in Europe's strongest man, and I sort of, I took about two weeks off mm. from training, yeah. and then I peaked for the Walls Around This Man, and I peaked for the Walls Around This Man finals, yeah. not the heats, oh, okay. perfectly. And it's very hard to do. Usually these local guys, they give everything out, like they, they go all out in the heats, mm -hmm. and they come to finals, they dehydrated, they tired, they, they, they sort of give up. It's like, I, I won't win, I'm top 10 in the world, so I can ah, well, yeah. you know. So just so, in case viewers aren't aware, the way strongman works, uh, works strong as well is they have qualifier heats on the way up for, is it four or five days? Uh, it's uh, five days. Yeah, beforehand, and then you then will qualify for the World Strongest Man finals kind of later on in the week. So there's about five heats, yeah. six people in a heat, yeah. and two people in the top qualifier. Yeah. And so just like that must be really tough on the body. I mean, like, it's it not be, really. It's, it's weird. It's it's more. It's more like a. You need to be patient, yeah. especially in the Walsh Runners Man, because it's a great show. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is done perfectly. Like there's a lot of crew yeah. filming it, so you have to be patient. So you have to be ready when they are ready. Okay. okay. So they tell you, okay, you have to go now. You have to live. Okay. So you have to sort of, you have to have a switch when you yeah. say, right, it's time to live now. You don't get too much time to warm up or whatever. You go on the attack, not not the way around. You know. Okay. That's it. that's the way it works. It's, it's yeah. And how far in advance do you know what the events are going to be? Um, that's the thing. Every year is different. So the last time I competed in the World Strongest Man is 2013. For some years, they'll tell you probably five, six weeks. Right. From the competition, they'll tell you the events. Yeah. And then sometimes there was a couple of times when they told you two weeks before. So you, you don't really have much time. You don't. Practice. It depends. It, it, for them, it's very hard because to set up all around this man is huge money. Yeah. And I mean huge money. Mm -hmm. So for them to get a venue, it takes time. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not that easy. And is that maybe why they're in these like, some kind of obscure, obscure, places, obscure places? Yeah. Mm, at the end of the day, look, what, like in Europe's around this man, there's 10,000 uh, people watching. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Leads, right? It leads, right? Yeah. So, Wall Strongest Man, the producing company, they don't care that there's nobody in the back. Okay. No, like cheering and, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, they don't care about, no. They care about the sightseeing and the weather. Right, okay. So, if you go to, let's say, now it's <laughs> going to be, I think, in the Philippines. Yeah. Right? In Manila. So, down there, the weather most likely will be spot on. Yeah. You know, so, and the sightseeing will be unbelievable. Yeah, if you do event the same like what they did in the late 2012, yeah, you know, in, in all these places, in yeah. Venice Beach and all this stuff, it looks really good, yeah, on TV. So I think they're looking for that more yeah. than anything else, you know. Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. bring it back to 2012, if that's yeah, okay, uh, just talk about that competition. That was probably, um, and was it after that then you won the Ireland? Yeah, 2013, that's right. Yeah. Um, so I just remember that competition, you know, <clears throat> towards the end of it. The stair. I was serious. Like, for me, I just kind of thought that was a shit way to end the competition. You know, if it had been on a deadlift or something, it would have been more. <coughs> for me, it would have been more ca <coughs> captivating. It's very weird a bit, too. Yeah, it was just a strange one, I kind of thought. Uh, like, it, it's, uh, it's very hard. To, like, first of all, they didn't see me coming. For sure. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. That's the only thing. They, they, they concentrate always on a sort of a bigger guys. Yeah. You know, that's why I like to be an underdog okay. yeah. and win against them, <laughs> against all these tall guys. Yeah. You know, so it gives a little bit of hope to other strong who are not six foot six, mm -hmm. six foot eight, six foot nine. You can be five foot eleven and you can do well. You can fucking win. Yeah. You know, which is, which is great. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. that goes mm -hmm. to show that strongman is not just about big, big men. Yeah. You know, so other guys who are actually normal size guys, yeah. they can smash them. They can win. Yeah. 
which which is which is good. Yeah. So that's why I didn't see that coming. And with these power, the last event, I, I knew that sort of I had no chance. You know, I can probably need that. Probably need the shoes with the platforms like that <laughs> yeah. to have a, yeah. to have a chance. You know, yeah, yeah. which you're not allowed to do. By yeah. the way, you know, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, it was it was unfortunate, but um, so close. It was a great event. You know, it was close. I made a couple of mistakes. I I actually when I was leading after the first day, yeah. everyone was in shock. Yeah, you know, and I was like, holy shit, I'm like. Win this thing, you know, yeah. which is real to me. It's a shock because I knew, like, to be to be big Z, it's yeah. freaking tough. It's full Mentally, action. physically, he's, he's just an unbelievable guy. Yeah. So I think in the back of my head, yeah. I sort of I don't know which way to put it. Knew that I can't win or something. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I, he was too much of a of a role model. For you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was sort of happy with the second place, yeah. you know? I was still a Which player. now, I don't care. I just want to win. You know? <laughs> I don't care who stands in front of me. Yeah, yeah. you know? Maybe we'll get that mentality. Like I said, all these other guys like Thor, and, uh, especially, like, there's now the Kiliakovsky and Yes. The Belsha. Yes, yes. The young, young. Yeah. The, the young and it's so freaking strong, it's not even funny anymore. You know, they lift yeah. huge weights. And so me starting professionally to compete only at 26. Yeah. You know? It was yeah, it's weird. So I, yeah. I sort of I in four years I went from failing to qualify for the finals. Yeah. In no, sorry, in three in, in three years. Yeah. From 2010, first my year, failed to qualify for the finals, 2011, went to America to win it. Yeah. Qualify for the finals, finished Six joint, six and seven joint with half top. Right. Yeah. 2012, second place. So, bam, 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 bam. Man. And, you then know? Went, yeah. and then you won the Ireland after. And then I won the Ireland, which was the. the, the, uh, the uh, that was the best one. Really? Yeah. Your career? That was the highlight of my career. When I stepped on the stage, no, when I got the dumbbells, yeah. everyone was cheering, and then the crowd went silent when Brian Shaw failed the dumbbell. Yeah. So he failed to lift these how many times? Three or four times he had to lift five. Sorry, five times. Yeah. He failed. So that's it. Yeah. yeah. So back in back in the, in the backstage, I just went mental, <laughs> hooked half door, lift him up in the air. <laughs> 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 he just went all freaking bananas. You know? was the, that was the highlight. And then awards came, and um, you can see I'm coming out of the flag. Yeah. And uh, the. So the stage is for basically bodybuilding fighters. Yes, yes. So there's about 5,000 people watching it. Yeah. And just silence. Yeah. Silence. Nothing. No one could. No. No one could believe it. No. They were, how the fuck is five foot ten guy? <laughs> and then you walk and all the guys are almost yeah, six right. foot five, almost yeah. six foot four, you know, I'm up to here to them. Yeah. And you know, but that's 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 the most satisfying thing for me, you know? Yeah. That's what's, a, what's um What's the vibe like at uh, strongman events? Because you have like the prominent guys, like Brian Shaw, yes. Sabikas, Aftor, yeah. and uh, Eddie, Eddie Hall. What's your, um, how do you get on with those guys? It depends which way you're going to look at it. At the end of the day, it's not like you're having a fight with a guy. Yeah. Mm. You're competing against the weight. Yeah. So if he beats you, in, let's say stone lift or yoke row, mm -hmm. so that means you're weak. And he's stronger than you. Yeah. So why would you be upset at him for? Yeah. You know. So be upset at yourself when we go back and train hard. Yeah. So you can, next time you can beat him. Mm -hmm. You know. But that's that's the way I look at it. Yeah. You know. So I don't really. I don't really feel that there is a lot of rivalry and like you know trash talk and stuff like that. Yeah. Where maybe a little. Yeah. But. <clears throat> It depends. I think we we're talking about it before, like yeah. when Sisto tried to trash talk me, yeah. and it backfired. You yeah, know, it motivated you. Yeah, yeah, it motivated yeah. in another way. You know? So yeah. you have to be careful. What did he say? He said you're looking fat or something. Yeah, he called me fat <laughs> after the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Venice Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's like came up to me. He's like banging in the belly. He's like, oh, you're fat. You know, you look bad in Europe's strongest man. I was like. Really? <laughs> I said, you know what? We'll see what's gonna happen in the finals. Yeah. In the finals, he was eight. You know, and I had a word with him then. I was like, you see, who's bad now? <laughs> who's bad now, man? Uh, you know, he didn't like that. But, 
Sure. Which is your uh, favorite of all the? You don't have it. You don't have a favorite. No, you can't. Right. Okay. The you minute know. you have a favorite, the minute you don't. Interesting. And that's just so that's the same like how you win competition. Brian Shaw can win competition without winning any of the events. Just I can win competition without winning any of the events. The top three, top four, yeah. in every event. There are some guys who like focus, they have one or two good events. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't like grip events. Like, work on it, man. Otherwise, you're going to be uh, not very successful strong. Yeah. And nowadays, yeah, there's, there's guys who are looking for big lifts and they have loads of views, you know? Like, oh, um, dumbbell record wrong and stuff like that. But to me, it's like, I don't know, to me, it's weakness. If you know what I mean? Because Just strong men, you test everything. You know, like cactus, explosive power, like there's so many events that you should test your strength in general, your endurance as well. Mm -hmm. We don't do a lot of endurance stuff, but still we do. We have to be mobile. Yeah. And that's why good strongmen, like half court, Brian Shaw, they're basketball players. They're the best, that's the background. Yeah. The athletes, you know? Yeah. That's it. That's why they're so good at it. Big Z is just a freak, that's it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But on the other hand, he was in university, he has a I think he has he has a degree in sports. Right, okay. So, so he, he has to do all that stuff as well. Yeah. You know, all the mobility running and stuff like that. So. And just to go into that a bit, so you're very, very meticulous about your mobility and nutrition. Yeah. Um, what where did that kinda of come from? Were you were you always kinda of like that? And mm, not really in recent years. Yeah. You get old, you know. You just have to tidy up things. That's it. You yeah. get old when you're young and even, especially with strongman. So in strongman competition, you don't really get to warm up properly. Okay. You don't. You have only a bar, a couple of plates, and off you go. Really? That's it. And then you have to go up and, and just do your thing. That's it. And there's sometimes where you can like we we'll have a log 140 kilos log, <laughs> and you're like, oh sh, uh, what about you're gonna have to do like 180 now. Like, figure it out. And you have to figure it out, you know, yeah. that's it. And we, we, <laughs> we give out when the warm up room doesn't have an eco plate. Oh, guys, <laughs> come on. That's not. In yeah. strongman, because you travel so much, and some countries, they just, it's their first show ever. Mm. And they, they, there's so many situations when the equipment is crooked or just breaks. Yeah. You live and it just breaks, bends, you know, and you're like, yeah. Oh, just guys keep going. I was like, go, what, how you can do that? Yeah. Well, you know, is that fair with example? Something like a, a truck pull or a bus pull, I mean, how do you warm up, how do you warm up for that? You, truck pull is not like, you can do a couple of things, you know, just activate your sort of calves and hamstrings and stretch out and stuff like that. But the good thing in, in the way, like let's say with wall struggles, man, is uh, it's in warm countries. So you don't need warm up. So you don't, yeah. If you compete in somewhere where it's colder, it can be an issue, okay. a big issue, you know. Yeah. But with warmer so countries, it's sort of really fine. Yeah. But every truck is different as well. And sometimes you have to go uphill and stuff as well, right? And uphill, downhill, <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. You just get stuck, and you just like it depends on the venue. The, the ones that always get me are plane pulls. I'm just like, how the hell is a human being pulling a plane? <laughs> I think they have a plane to play, to be honest. There is, um, it was last year. It was last year. Last year, I watched yeah. it. Yeah. So, the lightest guy he won, Matthias yeah. won. Yeah, he did. He was only 100. But, yeah. yeah, but he had the best technique. He did. He, he was very low, and I think the issue was, the issue was, uh, there was a small wheel at the top, at the, at the front. Okay. And it's a rubber, right? Yeah. So it's a wheel. And when Ryan Shaw and other tall guys, they were very high, upright. Yeah. And that wheel was keep bouncing the ground. So I think it stopped the momentum as well. Okay. So when you watch uh, Mateo Shpo, yeah. it doesn't off goes off the ground. It's, it's constantly on the on the ground. Right, okay. So I think that's what helped him to win that event. Interesting. And there was a lot of uh, saying that uh, people wanted to play. So they want to win and there was breaks on the planes and all that stuff. That's all. You want it to be a square and you just need to be able to do it. So I feel like given your strengths, last year's events really would have suited you. So in the squat, deadlift, plane ball, as we said. Both static events. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of static events. 
Right. I prefer to be running around. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't mind. I, I prefer yoke and stuff like that. Static event is boring. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. That's why you don't care for powerlifting. <laughs> it's not that I don't care. I never did it. Yeah. You know, and uh, I can, there's only a couple of guys who can sort of, if they did powerlifting all their life and they didn't do any other sport yeah. before. So you did GA. Yeah. You did rugby. Mm -hmm. So you have background in athletics, so you can move. Yeah, sure. And there's other powerlifters which just did powerlifting, nothing else. Ah, my dream was to be a powerlifter. And then they try to do stronger, fail risky. Because they can't. They or can't. Yeah. They can't. They, 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 in in, 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 in uh, strongman, there's a lot of repetitions. Yeah. A yeah. lot of repetition, repetition. Powerlifting is like one lift, you rest, one lift, you rest, two rest, two lifts, you rest. Yeah. In strongman, there's no such thing. In what? strongman, sometimes, sometimes in, in some competition, you do a farmer's walk, yeah. right? And then, if you uh, pull the batch roll, you have to go in and do log straight away with a minute rest. Jesus Christ. Yeah, and they don't care. They're like, yeah, you go. I was like, I just finished it. Like, it's a <laughs> You yeah. know, just yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, go, go yeah. for it. You, so you have to be conditioned to do that as well. And you have to be very mentally strong as well. Like, you know, if you're told, you can't just negative and say, oh, I have to do a lot of things. No, okay, I'm going to do it. You have to do it, yeah. yeah. But mental strength is so important. Yeah. I think the best guys mentally are strong as hell. Yeah. There's other guys who probably genetically are more gifted mm -hmm. than uh, some strong men. But come competition day, yeah. they just not good. Yeah. They, I was like, what's wrong with you, man? You're so strong. I was like, what happened? I was so nervous, I couldn't sleep the night before and all that stuff and, and that, that, that works wonders but some, some people they just, they just shit, you know? Yeah. Like so mentally you have to be tough as hell. Yeah. You know? Especially when you have, when you have like 500, 600, 700 kilos on your shoulders. Well, that's you silly, you know? Like, like last year what was with the run of class that was silly. It, was it too heavy, do you think? Sure it was too heavy. It's, but it, is, it, is it a case that it's actually Ridiculous to have it that at the first place. Well, like in a way, someone told me, I don't know how much truth I have. It's like so human spine can hold about 650 kilos. After that, it sort of just, just breaks. Just break, yeah. yeah, so can you imagine? Like in 2016 and like 17, so 2016, I came back from Arnold class. That was heavy yoke as well. I think it was, what was it, 680? Something like that. Yeah. So, First night when I came back, of course, like after the flight and stuff like that. Well, I, I, I couldn't sleep. My body was feeling so compressed. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It took me three weeks to recover. Three weeks to recover and then they called me and says, do you want to go to South Africa to do Arnold Pass in South Africa? I was like, guys, I'm crippled. <laughs> I barely can move. If you want me to go there, I was like, no way I'm going there, you yeah. know? So, and other guys go, what, they, what happens then? You get injured, you know? Yeah, we, we spoke briefly about that earlier, about the frequency of competitions. So, you mm. know, like in powerlifting, we would compete three, maybe four times a year, yep. at most, or maybe five. But for strongman, and particularly for professional strongman, because it's a big part of your income to actually compete. It depends, it depends on a person. Let's say, nowadays, uh, guys walking away, so, when it comes to competing a lot, number one guy is Big Z. Okay. So that guy can compete 20 competitions a year, easy. One year, he competed 21, he won 19 of them and placed second in two of them because he had a flu. <laughs> okay? So you look at that and he was like, okay, that's possible. Yeah. So, so in the past, those of guys were doing it. Yeah. Now, they focus on the big shows. Yeah. Like Brian Shaw does on the World's Strongest Man, Arnold Classic, and he'll do one or two in a year. And that's it. Yeah. So he would do what powerlifters do. Yeah. Focus on the big one, go on that, bang, bang, that's it. Okay. In Europe, we do way more competition. Is that just because there's more available? Mm -hmm. Way more available, yeah. Okay. So there is, there is a good few federations. Yeah. The money is... Price money is increasing, okay. so it sort of motivates us not to compete. Yeah, I guess you know, so. it depends. 
like in the world's strongest man in Arnold Classic, the biggest money gets the win. Yeah. Other guys get eh, not that much. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. You know, there's a big gap, so it's not a secret. Like uh, I think this year in Arnold Classic, first place is seventy two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Second place twenty four three. That's a big drop off, yeah. Exactly, yeah. I guess it's the motivation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like the only like one guy, so so the rest of the guys, they have to sort of compete more. Okay. If you want to make some money, you have to enter more competition, you know? Yeah. I think if you can do from 10 to 15 yeah. competition, you're doing okay. How many do you do here? That's it depends. It depends. Now I don't do too much. It was because of the business. And I tried to sort of, uh, try to be a cheeky and I pick all the big prize competition. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now you're dead right. Yeah, yeah. Str- I call that strategic. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. I mean, so you don't want to go in into these small competitions. Or, you know. Yeah. Would you ever do a Iron Man? Oh no, no. You're not allowed. No. Oh, you have to be an Irish citizen. You have to be an Irish citizen. There's a couple of guys who wanted to get Irish passports and then repeat. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not fair. <laughs> I'd say the rest of the huh? Irish strongman are delighted. Like, no, <laughs> it's not about that. There's Pilot Martin, he's a good strongman. He is, he's a good strongman. He's, strong man. Man, he's from the river back from Yeah, yeah. so yeah. how many times do you want? Two now? Two or three? Two, not too sure. I think two. two. Yeah, two, something like two. And I, I think he can win with few. You think so? so? I, I think he can win five probably. If he's, he's going to be smart about it. You know? Yeah, yeah. So he can, and it depends. It depends how. Sport will grow in Ireland because strongman is there's nothing really going on too much. Yeah. Everything is in England. Yeah. What's the state of uh, strongman coaching in Ireland, or even abroad, or is that even is that even? Don't you even have a strongman coach? No, no, no. Actually, I don't have. Um, especially online stuff. Yeah. You know, I think it's when it comes to strongman. You have to be able to do everything on your own. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I think you have because every competition is different. Every trip is different. You're coming back from the trip and you're tired and you're fatigued and you're not recovered. And then someone who's, I don't know, somewhere in America and you're in Ireland and he tells you, okay, so today you have to do this and that. And you're like, shit, I can't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, no, you have to. Like, no. You know, so listen to the body. That's the main key, I think, in any sport. Yeah. I know sometimes you have to go beyond that, but then when you break, yeah. you know, and so maybe sometimes to be in the safe side because I won the competition, let's say Iron Class 2015. A month before the competition, I tore my quad. Right. I was squatting 350 kilos on the fourth rep, boom, got. Right. Okay. Were they reps No, no, no. Just wrong. The uh, way back, uh, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> so that goes. Yeah. What do you want to do? Ice, ice, ice. Yeah. And then uh, for the for the last month, I basically did a couple of lifts. I did a little bit of deadlift, a little bit of dumbbell and stuff like that. Yeah. Went in the competition, best shape of my life. Figure out Just how is that possible? Rest. Yes. So you train, and then you have to. Two or three weeks before the competition, you have to sort of get right back. Yeah. But everyone is different. Yeah. Like I said, I rest three or four days before a competition. I know guys who have to lift and they would rest on the one day of the competition. Otherwise, they feel wobbly and they don't feel the muscle tightness and stuff like that. So everyone is different. Yeah, for sure. Um, and so you, you touched on it there briefly with the, uh, with the, the yoke, where you, it literally, you said push out for like three weeks. Yeah. Um, what other lifts do you find uh, very taxing on your recovery? Probably deadlift, I presume. But deadlift is okay, actually. You can you can get the power nap in the front, like today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yoke is the hardest one because it's con- it's a compression on your on your spine. Okay. And uh, and seventy hundred seven hundred twenty five kilos, like what? It was just ridiculous. Yeah, it felt like shit. There, there's <laughs> some guys who were just literally just pushing. Instead oh, of lifting yeah. and walking with it, they are pushing. Yeah. So Hafter went ballistic about it because Russian guy he did that and he placed fourth. He was basically dragging. Yeah. He wasn't lifting and walking with it. 
it was right and because the organizers didn't thought about it that someone would do that actually it wasn't in the rules so it was a bit of a you know yeah. and it, it wasn't for the for the I think for the people who were watching it for them it was silly yeah mm. Oh, but it just looked ridiculous. Yeah, it looks a bit stupid. Like one guy picks it up, drops a couple of times, but he finished it. Yeah. And there's another guy who just slides, 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 slides through the finish line, bang, finished. So he's like, <laughs> he just, I don't know. It's clever, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. And instead, but like, yeah. it's not fair on another guy. No, you know? it's not. So let's do a drag competition then. Yeah. That's it, that's it. We will drag 725 mils yoke. That's it. Yeah. And do you, um, do you tend to throw. Uh, with a big crowd, <coughs> or when there's no one around, or does it make a difference to you? It, uh, to me, I, I don't know. It's very hard to sort of you focus. So I don't know how in other sports. Me personally, I can't hear the crowd. You know, you can't hear it. no. Yeah. The after the lift, yeah, you can hear it. But like when you're lifting, you're so focused in what you're doing. You have to be hundred and ten percent focused. Okay. You like. If someone is screaming at you, that means you distract. Yeah. And you paid attention to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you distract, you're not focused. Yeah. You know, so when it, I, I when crowds, big crowds don't really yeah. care. One of the, the coolest videos I've kind of seen is when uh, your brother Marius uh, went in, I think it's he substituted in? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know. So was that a, a team event or was it? No, no you were a strongest man. You were a strongest man. Yeah. And you were allowed to substitute in someone if you were injured, is it? Or? No, no, no. So I initially I had to compete that competition. Yes. But uh, my body wasn't right then. I had the issues with neck and stuff like that. So I sort of I called the, the, the promoters and said, "Look, guys, I, I can't. Do it. I'm not ready. I feel like shit. I don't want to like, go into the competition and pull out after like yeah uh, first of you know." And so I said, "My brother can do it. He's healthy." They're like, "Yeah, fuck this." Oh, that's good. Good. And he did this 420. 420 at a body weight. We didn't have to change the t shirts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they didn't. Yeah, that's, that's, you say money, man. That's, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he did this 420 at a yeah. body weight of what, like 130, I think? Mm, 128. Like, that, and he didn't have a deadlift suit on either, did he? Nope. It was just straps, oh. belts, yeah, for that's all. it. Pretty much anything like it. I, I would argue that that was, was probably one of the best deadlifts ever done. Based on the body weight? Yeah. Probably, yeah. But that's insane. Just don't tell me that. No. Absolutely not. Who gets caught? Yeah. yeah. No, I'll tell him we should. We should go to 440. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should go to 440. Yeah. 420 is not good anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's another thing, isn't it? The standard, particularly in deadlift, I saw. In recent years. It fucking hell, it's Eddie just Wong. exploded. Eddie Eddie Wong's up there. Yeah, he just got stronger and everyone else yeah, did. When you pull 500, Everyone on the is like, shit, my 420 is no good anymore. <laughs> it's like 80 kilos away from it. Yeah. So you have to, I don't know, you have to go with 450 now. Yeah. And there's loads of guys now who's pulling 450. Yeah. Loads of them. Like probably five, at least five, six guys. And that's about a thousand dollars. It is a thousand dollars, you know, it thousand months, yeah. 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 So like Karan can pull it, Brian, Jerry Pritchett, Shaw. After? Half door, yeah. already five just on my head. That's Probably insane. there's another two or three. Yeah. You can do that as well. And do you think that 500 will be broken for a while? Or? I don't know. You have to be crazy to do that. <laughs> yeah, I would like to yeah. you know, try and show my that's, 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 that's not. Yeah, no. he was fucked after this up. He was like. You were, I was there, yeah. He yeah. Was, it wasn't well at all. No. But the, he did that and he just stops. Yeah. You know, so. In the, now, in the last year or two, he saw a finishing competition. Yeah. Before he was like focusing just on the dead, which which is which is right. He was in the right thing. Yeah. yeah. So his dream was to get five hundred. He got. Oh, that actually brings me to my next question, and you can tell me to leave if you think this is inappropriate. Yeah. But what's the closest you've been to death in competition? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> no, well, what what's What's, what's what I felt the worst? Yeah, yeah maybe okay. that's a better way. Not that the worst. Jesus. <laughs> not literally, but yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you exactly what. Uh, people don't know that, right? Yeah. So 2012, world's strongest man in LA. Yeah. First event, loading, 
and those. 125 kilos and those. Okay. Okay. So I have a stupid, not stupid, a bandana, which rest in peace Michael Jenkins gave it to me. Okay. Yeah. So if you watch it's pretty funny. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so I was pretty fast, I was very fast with the first two. Yeah. And then probably the sun or fatigue or whatever hit me. I picked up the third one and it fell. And the landed pitting on my leg. Right? I stood up and it finished. And I was, I was really bad. So whatever happened was, it was the heat, the shock that they felt and everything else. So after the event, I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good. Like, do you need any oxygen? No, I'm going grand. So went to, to the hotel and I, I couldn't breathe. I was like, <laughs> like that. I was like, what's going on? So whatever happened, so I went straight to the room, couldn't breathe, cold shower, cold, cold shower. And I came back after like five minutes. Whatever happened to my wife, then I panicked. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened, yeah. but I, I couldn't breathe. It was literally short for breath, and then called shower, and I came back. And then I had a what do you call it? A sun uh, or oh, sunstroke? Sunstroke. Yeah, yes. yeah, I had yeah. that as well. Okay. Uh, I was dizzy for like two days. Yeah. But I, I ate a lot of carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I got rid of it. I was fired for the violence. Did someone yeah. recommend that to you? I don't know. I researched it before. <laughs> so <laughs> like so the, when we go into the cafeteria, I was like, carrots. I was like, carrots? Like, what do you want anything? I was like, no, those are carrots, man. <laughs> That's how to prevent imminent death from sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> carrots, <laughs> <laughs> I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I, I, yeah. It was for whatever reason. You need to look into that. Sure, it worked. Yeah. It worked for me, yeah. yeah. It worked really well. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. Um, there was actually something when we were training here earlier on uh, that I blew my mind and said, um, you actually play basketball one night a week. You do? Yeah. Which just the when I'm getting ready for competition, not really, because you risk it. You're heavy. And uh, it's a big, it can, it can mess up your so Achilles, your, yeah. your ankle and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's only... So basketball is the national sport that's playing here, right? In the yeah. 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 yeah, and you follow the NBA and stuff like that as well. I follow NBA, yeah. pretty much what's, what's going on. Yeah. There's a couple of Danes playing there, yeah. so I follow them to see what's going on. Yeah, I just remember it was basketball because I didn't know. Do you got the basketball hoop? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. I didn't know that you were good at basketball up until then. Oh, and then you just started pinging them, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Is <laughs> He's so yeah. good. <laughs> now, I, when I was younger, I played lots of sports. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what makes. Uh, you're a complete athlete. Mm. A good base. Yeah, of everything. Literally everything. I play tennis, football, table tennis, uh, basketball. Uh, I was sprinting, I was doing all that stuff. Okay. And that's how we set the base. And that's why uh, when young guys come to the gym, 16, 14, 15, they say, I just want to lift weights. I was like, it's not really good for you to lift weights at this age, you know? Yeah. You have to, like, you can lift weights, but you need to do something else on the side. Yeah. And the minute, and then they, when they're 20, 21, they like stiff, as bored, they can't move, they, they start to develop all these issues with the spine and stuff like that. I think it's very important just to do other sports before you go fully into strength. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But that just me. I don't know. So, so you keep that up now for fun or to just keep it? A little bit of that. I think I think I think it's very important. You know, just to do something different from what you do normally. You know, to shock your body. And that's how we move forward. Yeah. Like I said, just to lift weights is it's well and good, but I think you need to do something else. Like even go for a job, you know, swim just or something like that. You swim yeah. or do a, like a I don't know. Like if you have an astroturf from the gym, yeah. just do stuff like that, something, yeah. problems and stuff like that. You know, like yourself, just, just something yeah. different. Go and play football, basketball, yeah. you name it, you know, tennis, I love tennis. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, actually, you should get a table tennis boy in here. We need more space. Yeah, she was too small for that. It'd be cool. We'll or, expand, we'll expand. Yeah, expand we'll again. Put not down another wall. No, no, we'll <laughs> go through the roof. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put something over there. We'll get the stairs going. And uh, currently, so you're preparing for Europe Strong yeah. Strand, so how is that going so far? Um, Slow. Yeah. I had a, I don't know, do you recall the major operation? I would say a major operation. Yeah, so I had three hernias yeah. in my belly, 
I knew about one. Uh, I had that before when I was 19, blood pressure down, yeah. belly button hernia. And then apparently when I went back to Lithuania and they checked it, they said that it's after coming back on me. Yeah. And uh, I started to scan and go up higher. And it says there's one more and there's one more. So you had three. And then when I started to get cold sweats, I was like, what do you mean there's three of them? I was like, yep. So you need to get it on, you know? So you got those removed and pretty, pretty much stitched up. Yeah. And because uh, I can remember when you came back and when you couldn't do couldn't with anything. I, I couldn't do anything. I, I my breathing was off. Yeah. I when I was breathing when I was talking for a long period of times, I started to sort of uh, be short of breath mm -hmm. and uh, and actually that's why I think my back went in this one because of the hernias yes okay so left side just switched off that's the issue you know? and I was working with the physio in Lithuania actually sort of physio who made sense what he was saying okay and uh, you know my story I think I told you that for four years I was injured I saw a man a lot of physios on the physios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, trying to be a dick, but with few of them are just useless. Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, they don't have a clue. With I think I think Arthur would agree with that. Yeah, I think as well though, in their defense, they they probably don't meet too many people like yourself. Yeah. I, I okay. High level strength athletes. Mm -hmm. really yeah, I understand that. So they deal with normal people. So if they can help someone who's as dedicated as me with training and nutrition and just sleeping and recovery, how they can help a person who's a normal joint soul? Yeah. You know, so if physio, the physio tells me, okay, you need to do this, this, and this, and you'll fix yourself. Yeah. So like, okay, so I did that. I tried it, it doesn't work. Okay. So how are you supposed to help somebody who's not as dedicated? If you tell a normal guy, do this and that and that, and he's never been in the gym before. Yeah. And to do it at home, he's like, you know what? Nah, it's just better off to take some pill and just kill the pain. I'll be fine. You know? So th that's my problem. You know? yeah. So, and these guys, in the, uh, I think I talked to you with Conor McGregor. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's useless. <laughs> useless. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's the guy, he thought he can fix me with crack in my back, and he did more damage than good. Yeah. Big time, you know? I must introduce you to a friend of mine. I think I don't understand. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul. He, he's. Yeah, I remember. So Paul has an article on SigmaNutrition.com. It's what's it called? Oh, uh, I think it's like, is is manual therapy a waste of time? Or yeah, something? and I remember I showed you it that. Is mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Good time. And you, yeah, you enjoyed the article. And yeah, you yeah. agree with everything. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I when you told me, uh, I didn't understand. Yeah, what we, we were saying. There was a miscommunication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Kind of like, what? <laughs> yeah, 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 but then when I read it, it just makes sense, yeah. you know, all that stuff, it just makes sense. You need to balance your body. Yeah. The minute some muscle take over, the weaker or the muscle, so we're going to the same point. So if you do all these deadlifts, then, so some muscles will get so strong and will get so tight. The other ones, the smaller ones, they'll switch off. Yeah. And the bigger ones, the tight ones, will do so much damage. That's it, like in your spine. Modifus, there's small muscles in your spine that holds your spine. Okay. And you somehow you need to activate multifidus. Yeah. Multifidus, that's the point. Yeah. So, yeah. so you need, need to work on them <laughs> and how to do that. You know? Yeah. Okay. And they just massage it, they actually, but with the massage, they weaken it. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think, maybe, particularly for a guy with you know, the muscle mass you have, like. Every I sport is different. Yeah, but if I go at you with his thumbs or his hands, he's not going to. Get deep enough, right? Yeah, man, McGregor guy, he went with the elbows. Yeah, that's another. No, he just made it worse. Yeah. He created inf so much inflammation in my body yeah. that the, the, I was leaving. So I was having issues with my left uh, hip. Mm -hmm. So he was actually putting the elbow in the hip and he was grinding. So he was damaging the nerve and creating so much inflammation that when I left him and I was sitting in the car, my hip was on fire. Yeah, it literally on fire, and that night I couldn't sleep properly. And he said, "That's normal. That's okay. That's normal. It's not normal. No, inflammation not is the biggest problem. Yeah, you know. So he creates even a bigger inflammation, which is not good. And then cracking and the, the joints. It's just 
You're not supposed to do that, you know? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And people say, I feel good afterwards. Well, okay, you get the relief for like five minutes. Then you want to crack it again. Yeah. Keep cracking it. And then you're going to damage the joint. Yeah. And all these particles will be floating in your body, you know? I remember one time I asked you to maybe crack my back and you said, no. No, no. I said you will not do that. No. I think it's because he just doesn't like you anyway. Yeah, it's true. He doesn't want to touch me. It's okay. I'll touch you now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel conventional today. That's how you would be. You're in the club now. Yeah. In the club. You need to join now. Yeah. Are you, are you as well? Say what? Well. Sumo. Yeah. Sumo man. Are all the strong men anti sumo guys? Or? Mm, it's not that it's anti sumo guys. It's not an anti sumo guy. You don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, like in competition, you just know. Yeah, and you try a wider group anyway, haven't you? Kind of. I tried the, uh, I would call it Brian Shaw's and Jerry Pritchett's thing. Yeah, where they kind of have their hands Oh, the Jesus Christ, man. That's, that's tough. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. I don't know. You have to be built for that. Yeah. In a way. I think I'm, I'm, maybe it's just a lot of lower back. A lot. Oh, yeah. And um, I know Jerry and I know that uh, Brian, they have issues with the SI. Yes. That's probably due to lifting so heavy with the, that technique. No, I think they went to that technique because of that. Right, okay. For whatever reason, it's just you know, a lot of strain on your lower back. Yeah. yeah. Not that much on a. Because you don't squat in that low. I mean, that's the problem with the SI. If you go very low, that's when SI joint moves. Right, okay. And that's when you're in trouble. That's why when you go to all these osteopaths and chiropractors, and they tell you don't squat, do box squats. Because it's actually safe for you. And that's, that's the main thing, what I got from most of them. Yeah. Like, the guy in Germany as well. Doctor, he gave me an injections, cortisone injections. Yeah. Which, nothing as well. Really? Nothing. Did nothing do? Nothing at all. Interesting. Yeah, and um, I as well went to see a chiropractor while I was there. Yeah. So he adjusted my SI, but I asked him to have a look in my neck and he made it worse. And you know, that's what I'm saying. Avoid all that joint manipulation. In my opinion, it's, it's like chiropractic doesn't. Strengthen, balance out the muscles. That I think I think a good uh, example of chiropractic not working is um, Ed Cohen. So Ed Cohen, um, Ed Cohen said he went to a chiropractor every day when he was uh, for free, and uh, he's pretty fucked now. So I mean, we don't. I don't all the joint cracking. I, I don't think it. Prob- I don't think it helped at all. To be honest, no. that's unfortunate. But, you know. but in America, it's very big. Yeah, it's very popular. It's very big, and they, then they claim that the the all your insides connected with your spine. So when they crack certain joints, your your kidneys will get better, your liver will function better. Uh, they claim all that stuff. stuff. It's just come on, man. That's one story. It was like a, a girl was dead, and then someone cracked her spine, and she could hear again. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, that's just a complete lie. Like, no, no, <laughs> but it's probably it can can affect your hearing muscle tightness. You know? Maybe. For sure, yeah. over here. So all these scalings, if the muscles get tight, it might affect your hearing. But just to crack it and she can hear again, that's... So what have you found to be the kind of best, I guess, recovery techniques when it comes to manual like therapies and whatever? You like your... The Mobility, board, huh? You like the inversion board. Inversion board, I don't mind that, but I, it's sort of now I'm more looking into the way I move. Okay. In... During the day, don't mind the lifting. How I how I pick up things and uh, I started sort of squatting more like babies when I do all the certain things like during the day. Okay, you know, yeah. and I think that helps as well. And try to embrace the core. Yeah, just everything is back in in, in line. You know, yeah. that's it. and I sort of came up with a couple of uh, exercises of my own mm-hmm. that does the job for me, okay. you know, for the sort of imbalances that I have yeah. and need to work with, you know, that's it. Yeah. I guess ma- managing the training load as well is, is huge there because in, you can't have a discussion about recovery if, if your training loading is, is, uh, is out of whack. Yeah. The, the recovery as well to me is like the, probably the most important thing recovery-wise is not all the 
mobility and stuff like that, I think sleep, stress yeah. levels. Yeah. For sure. If you can avoid that, I think your recovery will be unbelievable. And like I said, just bouncing up the way you move and stuff like that. But that sleep and recovery and stress levels, if you reduce that, when you stress, your cortisol levels goes up and you're inflamed all the time. And that, that's a big, okay. you know, if you can reduce that, it's fine. So, less stress, more success. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Hashtag it. That's, a, that's a, like a book for revision. For oh, what is it? Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Catch you, catch you. Yeah. Um, Piers, I just want to change gears a, a little bit here now um, and just talk a little bit more about uh, your life since you've moved to Ireland. How have you found um, Irish culture compared to Lithuania? In Dublin or in Kilkenny? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> big difference. Big difference. Let me start with Dublin and then we go on and go down to Dublin. Uh, at the start, it was a little like nightlife is good. Mm. But I'm a I'm a culture boy myself. I'm just there. You're very back on it. Yeah, yeah. My, my parents are farmers. Yeah. So I'm a blue collar. That American will say. American will say. Yeah. We call it. Oh, red red Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so uh, it wasn't uh, a very big shock for me. Um, I, I, I tend to adjust pretty quickly, and uh, when I was in college, I was on a student exchange program for two summers, so I was working in England. Oh, okay. In Canterbury, Habersham. Yeah. So I sort of already knew what's going on in England and stuff yeah. like that. So for me, it wasn't a very big shock. I mean, um, it's pretty much the same sort of buildings and you know, same language. Yeah. So it wasn't a big shock. Yeah, your English is pretty good. Is it just that's just from living here? Pretty, pretty much, yeah. Mm. I just talk with two people. That's it. Talking to Being a very communicative person. Again. Yeah, yeah, there you go. go. Yeah, that's it. And uh, so it wasn't a big shock. No. Though when it came, the fitness wasn't big as it is now. No, I think, it's it's true. I think that's globally though, and probably due to social media. Yeah, Instagram, like Facebook, and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. which is good. Yeah, which it is. Good. People are healthier and they're more aware. They, they, they understand that you know, to, to be drinking all the time or just having fun, and then you pay for it from the old you know. Invisible, that's what they do. They can do everything with the, they can balance it out, so for sure. A bit, a bit of everything, you know? Yeah. And be happy and healthy. And you're definitely happier in Kilkenny. Uh, <laughs> compared to Dublin? Uh, I'll say so, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's different. Like, Dublin is uh, it's a big city. Everybody's on the go. Over here, it was, still is a bit weird. People, yeah, people that you don't know saying hello and stuff like that. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. oh shit, what are you supposed to be? You know, yeah. you aren't from here. Actually, no way. Um, so, have you ever kind of gone into town and worn like a small t shirt and had your arms out? And would people mm -hmm. kind of look at you weird? No, that's creepy. Do, but uh, I don't know what to do that. But do they look at you? Huh? Do people look at you? I people? don't notice that stuff. You know, just I know, yeah. no, I don't know this stuff. Anymore. I yeah. don't pay attention. If people look, that that's fine. I know, but I'm, I'm not doing that for like. I just like. To, uh, I just love to cook. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason I'm in fitness. That's the only reason I'm a strongman. That's the only reason I have that block behind the desk to do calves all the time, strengthen yeah. my feet. You know, yeah, yeah. that's the only reason. Yeah. I love that stuff. That's it. I don't think you can see on the videos, but Vitas is wearing these shoes. What are they called? Vibro. 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 You know, you can see how it goes in there. And uh, yeah, you, you actually really like them, don't you? I do like them. My feet are sore as hell. I feel <laughs> alive after that, you know? <laughs> I don't feel like uh, being in the cast constantly. Uh, okay. Yeah, so if you... Work out there. Yeah, well, you should get pure, at least when you're training. Yeah? Yeah. But that's me. Yeah. You know, like I think like Nikes, as much as they're cool and they're great, for your people, yeah. no, no, we savage. <laughs> we have to move. Okay. You know, I mean, we're supposed to kid you. Yeah, you know? yeah, I guess. Yeah, there we go. So, I don't know. What, uh, what did you study when you were in college, actually? Food processing technology. 
Shit, shit, yeah, I was shit suited. <laughs> <laughs> you left the weights on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even uh, um, so, me and my wife were together 15 years, yeah. so we met in college actually. Oh, okay. So, um, on the last day, sort of, of the college, all my group and my wife, yeah. they went out. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, so before they went out to the nightclub, they sort of were drinking outside the school, yeah. outside the college, a little bit, you know, having a couple of drinks. And the, the college gym was in the basement. Yeah. So I was in the basement training while they were drinking outside. <laughs> so my wife came out back and I was like, hey, I was like just leave me here. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the story. It's like, okay, <laughs> we, we go. It's like, yeah, you go, you go. I don't care. That's it. That was similar to you. Was that a, was that a statement of intent for the years to come? Yeah, it's really much. Yeah, yeah, I'm training yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. yeah. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm just in a happy place. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I never was a, a big drinker, drinker or nightclub guy. You know? Yeah, I'm doing work in nightclubs. Yeah, in Dublin. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I hate that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, one thing's for sure. I wouldn't like to get thrown down a nightclub by a strong man. Um, well, that's the thing, though. I mean, when you're as big as you are and lads are yeah. drunk, do you find that that's almost like puts a target on you? Yeah. yeah. For whatever reason. They just want to challenge the big guy. It, sometimes it works against you, sometimes it works fight. Like yeah. there was a couple of situations where there was once there was a huge fight. Yeah. Like I think ten guys were fighting in the night. Right. I ran, literally just just tackled everyone, <laughs> grabbed two <laughs> guys, and just pinned them against the wall. The rest of them stopped and looked. Yeah. So they just were looking, yeah. and the managers were like, <laughs> "Stop!" Yeah, and it did. And after night, I hope they gave me a bonus. Or something huh? like that. They, they, they gave me actually a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because it stopped straight away, yeah. and they're like, "That's what all you're supposed to do." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> just pin them, and they were they, they straight away lift their hands up. Yeah, yeah. Rest them just stopped. You know, it was yeah. there was the stop of the fight. It was like everyone was happy. You know, <laughs> but that's it. So. Probably didn't, did you kick a lot after? Yeah, you have to. But yeah, but like, yeah, let's go and just come back whenever you want. Yeah, that's like, okay. It's it's tough work. <laughs> it's one of the worst jobs ever. I know people who don't like it, don't like it. Yeah, it's a tough job. That's you tough. have to be an athlete. You have to be as a doorman. Yeah, I think uh, you need to be tough on people like this. Yeah, n- people. Not really. I think like there is uh, there's so many stories. There's there's one guy, uh, I was working, where was working? In, uh, I think, Leeson Street. There's a, a, a club, a lot, lot of rugby players was there. Okay. So I was tackled by five, five rugby guys. Right. In their 40s. Though. Yeah. They tackled me. I was in between the door, and they just for crap, and for fun. They couldn't push me. <laughs> <laughs> so but I, I grabbed uh, the, you know, the side of the yeah. door, and I was like, come on. They couldn't move me. Yeah. I was like, it's like, you're a strong guy. I was like, yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> well, size doesn't matter. I was like, no, it doesn't. Yeah. It's who we are as a person. You know? It doesn't matter how big you are. It's, yeah. So, but you can have fun with people like that. And they always try to challenge you and show you that size doesn't matter. And they, ha- they have to, let, to tell you that. And I know that. You yeah. don't need to tell me that. You yeah. Know? But definitely not. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't care about how big you are. You know? That's it. Um, when it's kind of when you're finished competing in strongman, mm-hmm. what are your kind of plans for after? Do you think you're like obviously you have the gym in Kilkenny? Yeah. But uh, do you think you're going to maybe coaching or promoting or anything like that? Or I would love to sort of go into making the sport bigger in Ireland. Yeah. You know, because at the moment it's a bit uh, all other sports take over. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I think the island has so much potential, yeah. you know, when it comes to that. And uh, now I know we, it's good to see that powerlifting is growing yeah. that much. It's really good to see. It. Mm-hmm. And I think eventually it will go into stronger. Even yourself, yeah. you want to try to do it, yeah. which is music to my ears. You know? yeah. so I was like, okay, that's that's cool. Yeah. So people are actually thinking it's fun, and it is fun, you know. And uh, I think it's to do. You can nowadays. I think you can do both. You can do strongman and you can do powerlifting as well. Looking from what sort of tour he's doing at the moment, yeah. it's ridiculous. 
He's doing both. Yeah, yeah, he's doing both, and it works for him unbelievably. Well, he's yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't know. So I think uh, Stan Efferding is actually helping him out with his training plan at the moment. And the nutrition. 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 Yeah. And then he has the Australian. Sorry, he has. Yeah, Australian, Australian strength coach. And yeah, coach yeah. very intelligent guy. Yeah. I met him in Canada yeah. last year. Really intelligent guy. He knows what he's talking about as well. And he's not a big guy, but strong as hell. And he seems to have adopted kind of powerlifting, maybe sets and reps. So like, you know, three sets of two, one axle for one with one fifty five kilo as well. Yeah. Every day. It seems to be kind of powerlifting ish. We, we you you just saw one video, you know. Sure. You don't know yeah. what he's doing yeah. after. That's fair enough. You know, maybe he's trying, like, look at my, maybe he's trying to promote just his training, yeah. way of training, you know? Yeah. Or maybe generally he's doing some all together, something else, which I don't know, like I said, you need to go and probably train with him. Yeah. And I nearly got him on him for him. Really? Yeah, I just missed out on him. He oh. was here with his uh, uh, vodka promotion thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, if, he, if I wasn't down, he says he would have gone, but because the Kenny's an hour away, so I missed out. So next time, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. That's when you know you made it when you have your own brand of Falcon. Yeah, like I was, I was listening. It was pretty smart. Like they just started as a, as a sort of, as a fun way. You know, it just yeah. it wasn't serious, and now it's just, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which is really good for you. You know, sounds like our podcast. Yeah, it's growing. Cool. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> yeah, that's it. Twenty. I that's guess drugs are getting better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll get you a couple more with good guests. That's Trying to get to Big Z or something. Oh, we love that. Big Z. That'd be so <laughs> yeah. cool. Yeah, that'd be great. If Thor comes here, I'll let you know. Yeah. You yeah, can interview him. Maybe he'll ask for a little bit of money. So. <laughs> but it's okay. We'll give him a couple of slaps. Yeah, we will. Were you ever, were you ever tempted uh, to try powerlifting at this age? No. no. There's no money in it. Yes. There's no One money. thing, there is no money in it. And another thing, like I said, I, I just love movement. I love other to do other things. You know, yeah. to me powerlifting is is sort of too static. Yeah. Yeah. Too much. Too one dimensional. You know? And it is just one dimensional. It's just against my belief and against me myself, you know. So I can't do something that I don't really enjoy. Yeah. If you know what I mean? So it's yeah. not me. Ah, further down the line we'll get you to do a bench only or something. Yeah, something like that. I I, I don't mind that, yeah. you know. Yeah, but like in general to do everything like I, I won't be able to train like you, but maybe I can I can I can I can sort of yeah change that, that mindset. But uh, yeah. in general, probably I'll go back into Anderson. Yeah, yeah, mm. that'd be cool. Yeah, because it's it's grown. Yeah, it's grown a lot, and uh, when you have a name, it's a little even easier. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you can sort of. There's actually a documentary on <coughs> Netflix about our wrestling. Uh, it's very interesting. About some guy from the US who was unbeaten for years. Uh, John Brazil. Yes, yes, that one, yeah. Very John Brazil. Yeah, yeah, but that's another guy who sort of, he works, I think he works for the airlines. Yeah. Some sort of airlines. So he travels the world and hammers and everything. So he doesn't do anything else. There was uh, one good Russian hammers, phenomenal. Yeah. Alexei Voyevoda. Okay. He won the, so he retired from uh, arm wrestling, went in into bobsleigh. Yeah. And he won the gold medal. Bobsleigh. Bobsleigh. Really? Explosive, man. Explosive. Jesus, that's really good. Yeah, so he won gold medal. I think the lot, so not this winter games, is not winter games, but the yeah. previous winter. Yeah. That's unbelievable. So you can, like, the, like I said, so he's an arm wrestler, explosive, bang, you can. Then do all that stuff into the bobsleigh. Yeah, but well, that's what I'm saying. So there's people who are freaks and they can do pretty much yeah. everything. Like, I, I believe Michael Jordan could have been a phenomenal baseball player. You know? He was sure. okay. Yeah. yeah. He was just a freak. You know? yeah. Some guys can pretty much do whatever they yeah, want. Yeah, you often hear, even um, there's. <coughs> I've often heard of GA players or rugby players who could have been professional soccer players as well, or who, you know, were True. over for yeah. trials in England, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a good athlete, you're a good athlete. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's, it's, there's so many guys, and I know them personally, that probably okay. genetically more gifted than me. Yeah. Just they don't have that drive. Yeah. They just you know they just ah whatever I don't care that too much or they give up too soon and stuff like that and they can be um, uh, could have been phenomenal football players basketball players and yeah. they just start drinking and you yeah. know other priorities 
come into their lives, and that's it, and then they don't, you know? Yeah, yeah, and then they, when they're 40, they're all cranky and pissed off because, like, oh, maybe I didn't achieve what I should supposed to achieve, but that's your own fault, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's say the, what you're touching on there, the resilience uh, is probably uh, pivotal in strongman because the injuries. She's a very fancy word. She's <laughs> yeah. I don't have PhD, man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is not English isn't your first language. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. What I mean is, so, I guess the men, mental toughness, if you like, yeah. is probably really important in strongman because, uh, you know, the injuries is just, they're, it's nearly always something told. But nowadays, mm -hmm. there's such a thing, there's things like PRP injections and all this mm -hmm. stuff. And the guys and the stem cells, yeah, and and everyone is different. Like, let's for example, my brother torn the kids, right? Yeah. So it's it's a year yeah. from from pretty much since he tore. Yeah, yeah, since the Ireland, yeah. And there's a guy who tore his Achilles in Canada, an Arnold Classic, Estonian guy. So he, it's second. One. So he tore one, and he had six operations. Fuck, six, right? So they had to even uh, take the skin from his glute and put on his uh, heels because there was so much scar tissue and he couldn't heal it. So he messed up his second one. He had two operations on it and he's completely not a Okay. Brown and Hayward, yeah. Jesus Christ. What do you call that? <sighs> Stupidity or, or just hardcore or just hard as nails? Probably it's a bit of all three. Yeah. 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 yeah, and that's what shocks me the most. Yeah. Some guys can come back after the after these bad injuries and be better. Yeah. Be just better, you know. I don't know how is that possible, but it's possible. I guess it's the time when you're injured to work on your weaknesses, maybe. And then if you understand it. Yeah. If you can figure it out. Yeah. A lot of guys they just they, they don't care like uh, Christopher Zakowski. Yeah. Broke his head. Bench. Literally broke his what, what's that uh, the bone here? Humerus? Yes. Yeah. In half. So in half. Bad benching. Two oh, okay. Yes, actually. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was benching, so the hand slipped a bit, yeah. and he finished the bench and said, boom, gone. Yeah. Right? So he said he stood up, right? Stood up, he says, okay, so arm is down, he was he says, okay, the nerves are not damaged, so he can wiggle his nerves. Yeah. Goes to the hospital. Two options. No, just says, right, we can put you in a cast, yeah. three or four months in a cast, and then you rehab it and blah, blah, blah. Or we can do, put a rod into your marrow. Mar mar marrow, yeah. Marrow, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, titanium rod. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And just screw everything together. Yeah. Right? He's back competing in two months. Holy shit. Two months? In two months, man. On the bench to Italy again. <laughs> okay. he's, 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 he's back to home and the doctor says if it breaks again, you might lose the hand. Jesus Christ. All of it might be gone. Fucking hell, that's terrible. Yeah. And that's how some guys are just hard. And that's what the strong man is, maybe. Yeah. You, you, you have to be, to be a top professional athlete in any sport, you have to be a, a little bit crazy. A big nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be a bit nuts. Yeah, sure. yeah. But that's uh, one extreme. <coughs> Um, anyway, so we won't keep you too much longer yeah. now, because, but uh, one question I have for you. How do I get huge biceps like you? <laughs> I'm just a baby. We can do it now. Yeah, uh, no, you're okay. Well, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, actually, is there money in Arabic? No, it is. Okay. No, it is. Um, it can be, it depends. Like, uh, there is uh, tournaments arm wars. Yeah. Okay. And if you have a good setup and you have good names, you probably can make up to 15. Wow, that's good. Yeah. And is that in mm -hmm. Like Neil Pickup is the guy in England. Okay. Very good guy. And uh, he's, he's the one to, to sort of, so that's the, the, we have a deal with him. So. Okay. He says the minute you finish for sure, 100% with a strong man, yeah. give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> deal? We'll do. Yeah. You know, just work the technique and just go from there. You know? I would love that sport to get a little bigger because uh, nowadays it's more about uh, it's a oh, sorry, pop sport. Yeah, it's a pop sport. Yeah, which is which is wrong. Yeah, 
You know, I uh, I think it's a proper good sport. Yeah. You know, and it's a tough one. It is for sure a tough yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's fun. It's, it's not very entertaining for the viewers. Yeah. As such, because it's really short. It's very can be it's just yeah. can be over in like a couple of seconds. Yeah. In second base. Yeah. You know, there's the other ones who would like they go on for a couple of minutes. You yeah. know. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. insane. Yeah. So that's that's a good one. But like for, for people, maybe it's a little bit too yeah too fast. Um, Arthur, is there anything else? Because we'll probably finish up talking any other. No, no, not really. The only thing I would like to add is that uh, how would press the amateur regime? Yes, it's really lovely. Yeah. Clean. So clean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> Arthur <laughs> grabbed the hoover, hoovered everything. Oh, he did. 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 I'm very intrigued with, with gym equipment, so yeah. I, I, that's why I, I really enjoy this place. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Otherwise, then he likes it. Oh, he likes it. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah. He yeah. likes the clip machine and all that. Kind oh, of yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Yeah. So if anyone is ever in Kilkenny and is looking for a so good facility to my, train, my roots are in bodybuilding, so all the machines and all this stuff. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, we go. You yeah. see, you yeah. see, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> see. Yeah, the squats. You can see. Yeah, you need to. We'll get you in shape. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you to use all these machines. Yeah. Hashtag, you know? hashtag 1000 weeks out. World traffic's now 2030. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll do that next next week. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, yes. Enjoy me for some yoga, frame. Oh, man. I'm dying. You did the log already. I so. did the log already. But yeah. that's static. That's easy for you. Yeah. yeah. And I did the. I'm doing shoulders now. So that's the same. Yeah. And dumbbell press. Dumbbell press. Viking yes. press. We have Viking press. So yeah, that's Viking press. You know that as well. It is. Yeah. It breaks the core. <laughs> and lift. Yeah, you cycling with the uh, 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 crazy uh, too much. You just need to lift it. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Lift it <laughs> you yeah, know. So that was that was something <coughs> that you said to me before when we were uh, when I was messing around with the log here a few months back. Um Oh, we got, oh, we got the big boy, yeah, the so log boy. Log boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it so, just it was accident. Yeah. Yeah. There's only there's only two lifts that are passed out: the front squat and uh, the overhead press. And I asked you, have you ever passed out on log press? And uh, your response was, no, because I don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just lift. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think about it too much. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I thought that was that was intriguing for sure. Well, you got it. You came back and you got it. Yeah, he did. He did Which was really impressive. Right. I thought he I, I, I really thought he has no chance. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Actually, insert clip here. I'll send you the chip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, that's great. Um, so last last question for you now. Um, so a guy who's five eleven. Yeah. Five ten. Five ten. Five ten. Five ten. Can two can two guys who are five seven make it? Yeah. I really think you can. Yeah. yeah. I, I think anyone, there's a couple of events that might be against you a little bit, yeah. but uh, I think you can. For like squat and deadlift, it would be an advantage, right? Yeah, but that's the only two events. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. There's another 12 or 14 that you need to cover. Yeah, that's just that's overall, like I said, when overall, just train at all the events. Yeah. And if you have, if you're good, if you're not, it's like you're okay on all of them, you win. Yeah. It's all about the points. It's all about the, the overall result. Not just one, two, overall result. That's it. And in Strongman, there's six events. Mm-hmm. Six, five events. And you can win easy. You know? So, World Strongest Man for 2030 will be there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's the love, boys. And then the year after. Last and second last. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the year after, you're going to make. It's an first. achievement to yeah. get there. Yeah, I'm fucking it is an achievement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Top player, the strongest people in all. That's. that's, that's no, so that's something else. Yeah, yeah it is. So, world's strongest man in 2030 for Adam, and then the year after, he's going to make his debut in, in bodybuilding. Yeah, so I'll be Mr. Olympia yeah, well. 2030 win. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm not going to get Going for the win? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Sure. Oh, sure. I'll oh, borrow your bicep for that day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and you're hopefully, by then, the uh, <laughs> medicine will be very involved, uh, evolved. You know, yeah, so, so we can do so. Yeah, <laughs> change stuff. Um, Great, thanks for the news. Really appreciate it. Should we plug um, where to find you and all that? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, so. uh, New Park Shopping Centre. New Park Shopping Centre, Kilkenny. Okay, yeah. And yeah. then on, so Insta- on Instagram, you have a fan page, Vito Gonzalez. Yeah, Vito Gonzalez. Vito Gonzalez. And 
on Facebook and on Instagram. You just we talk to Silas as well. That's it. That's it. So uh, awesome. V Y T A U T A S L A L A S. Oh Jesus, that's easy. The surname is easy. Come on. Yeah, it is. Just look up Lalas. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It'll come up somewhere. Google. Yeah, actually, my friend Mary is still. Yeah, Mary, actually, yeah, yeah, follow Mary. That's the same model, so doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. Came from the same model. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. good. Yeah. Very good. so that's it, we'll wrap up. Um, I'm so jacked on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so so on Instagram. <laughs> Ch- Chad Lizzie Smith gave out to us because we didn't promote ourselves. So we need to do a bit more than that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. he did. Uh, Arthur Lynch, Arthur Lynch, Arthur Lynch, all one word. Plain and simple. Good. And if you want to find out more about Nodic Powerlifting, nodicpowerlifting.com or Nodic Powerlifting on Instagram. And that's it. So thanks, thanks very much. Thanks again thanks so much, much for, much for, for giving up your, your time on yeah. Sunday evening. That's <laughs> right. No family time. Yes, yes. absolutely. So I might get slapped by my wife, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big deal. You can slap me twice as hard. I'll do that. Yeah. So, uh, right, it's great. great. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye.